We want to get the we want to get, yeah. make it feel more natural as we go. Yeah, um, we'll do a couple of practice runs. Wait. Aiden. Uh, hi. <laughs> what are, do, are you? Do you do the intro? Who does the intro? What do you mean? Like. Oh wait, anyone can do the intro. Hmm. Hey, welcome to Something Shiny Podcast. Today we have myself, Jeff, of course, Jeff Rowe. and to my left we have Padu. I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready to get in it. Fine. He's ready to get in. That's a TM right there. <laughs> And then <clears throat> over here we got you can say the, whatever you want to say. The, the A bomb. Hi. That's it. I've never been on a broadcast before. I'm new to this. Are you nervous? To I mean, we're not recording yet, so just say what you want to say. And let the words fall out. <laughs> that <don't> work. <laughs> what was it. that? Say that again. It was. It, you said say what you want. You said what else say do you want to say? say? We got test. Go ahead. We got time, right? Sing, say whatever, do whatever. I have no idea what to say. Uh, once again. Why did you just sing? Do that again. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, just when you make when we're practicing, somebody make sure you're talking into the microphone. Okay. There you go. That way, it's good practice. You, yeah. if you, hey, if you look at me or Jeff while you're talking, and just kind of keep it, it helps you. Yeah. And then you hi. <laughs> and then turn your head like this, like see, I'm talking to you. Then I go to Pat. Uh, That's why we've got these. Though. Bye. Have a good time. You having a good time? Yeah. I like the way you say, "I'm having a good time." Bye. Have a good time. <laughs> you like you like kind of you like singing? Mm, kind of. Well, mm. bust out some tunes. Mm. Can you rap? No. Can, Not right. really. What's your favorite song? Well, one to of my sing? friends can like. If you say a word, he'll probably make a rap out of it. No one cares about your friend. No, yeah, we just care about you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Talking to the mic. Okay. Hey, the mic. Hi, Mike. <laughs> what's what's your favorite song to sing? Uh, probably Michael Jackson. Ma Michael Jackson Thriller. How's that go? Is that wait beat it? Is that no, it? That's, no, that's how do you do? It. Th sing Thriller. Sing a couple. Mm. We're testing. I gotta. We need you to do it. It's close to me. No. Into that's the mic. <laughs> Sing into the mic because I gotta no, test this. Yeah, hey, just say this. Just say the lyrics. It's close to midnight. It's close to midnight. <laughs> What's after that? <laughs> it's hard. Wait, when one second. Let me rethink it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm trying to give you the beat, yo. Just stop. I'm trying to think. We're coming in. We just need to test a little more, Aiden. Then we're gonna start. Does that sound good to you, Pat? We'll yeah, start I'm, in yeah. a few minutes okay. here. Okay. Under the moonlight, it's someone, something evil is lurking from the dark. <laughs> I start to, you start to freeze, and someone looks you right between your eyes. You're paralyzed. That this is thriller, thriller night. And no one's gonna save you from the beast about to strike. You know it's thrill, thrill the night. That was awesome. I, I dig it, yo. All I right. almost mastered it. You did well. Your mom's gonna enjoy listening to this. Okay. Um. Can I just say a couple more words? Kid, bo <laughs> kid bop, kids bop, ruin thriller. What is it? Kids Bob Ruin. I don't know what Kids Bob is. Tell it's me like, what that is. They, they, it's a kid version. It's a kid band, and they re-sing songs. If you could drop a and bomb they, on Kid Bops, would kid, you do it? Kids Bob. Yeah. Would you do it? you drop a bomb on them? Okay. Because they ruin the laugh at the end of Thriller. <laughs> Where they go, hee, hee, hee. They go, ha, ha. Well, it's it's uh, Richard Price that does the voice on it. I mean, you can't copy. Ha, <laughs> ha. Is it, is, it Richard Richard Pratt? Pratt. is it Richard Is it Richard Pratt? I have no clue. He's the one that did all the scary movies and stuff back in the day. Oh, okay. All right. So it's Kids Bop ruined it. What else are they going to run? A lot of... Um, not that much. Oh, okay. Awesome. Talking to the mic. They have, like, discs where you can buy them, and then it has certain songs on them, and then you can listen to it on the CD, and then it'll just play songs. Okay, you can drop a bomb on Thanos or Kids Bop. Who are you dropping a bomb on? Thanos is a cool Marvel character, so, so I'm going to go, <laughs> go Kids Bop. Talking to the mic. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, Kids Bop. All right. 
let's say there's a shark about to eat your mother and father. You can drop a bomb on the shark or kids Bob. Who are you dropping it on? Shark. Really? And then kids Take time Bob. to think about and that. And then kids Bob. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. A shark's going to eat your sister. It's your stupid sister. That or Drop a bomb on the shark eating your stupid sister or kids Bob. Mm, we don't say the stupid. shark. We don't say stupid. I want to save my family. Really? All right. There's a shark about to eat Uncle Mac here, your buddy, or drop a bomb on Kids Bob. Who are you dropping it on? That's the right. shark? <laughs> Appreciate it. You, no, you said my sister was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Her revenge. So, oh, so wait, you're dropping the bomb on? No, the shark. Hey, all right. Well, I like your first answer. Good way to roll with it. Well said, sir. In any case, that's right. It's me, Jeff Rowe. Pat Ooze already said hello. Aiden sang us a song on this. So we're happy to be here today. As you see, we got the little A-bomb with us, a little special guest star. He's throwing up the deuce sign. We, all right. We felt like uh, the kid's perspective would be an important perspective on uh, a lot of the movies that have come out, especially the comic books, because they a lot of times is. You know, parents would take them to see him because they get excited about it. But mm -hmm. I, w I wanted to get his uh, thoughts on some of the ones that you know, he's gone to see. And it's good to bring a kid's perspective because he may or may not like the new Star Wars, which I hate. I hate it with. If I could drop a bomb D -Y, on like, D -Y, like if D -Y. if there was a shark going to eat my mom, or. I could drop a bomb on the new Star Wars movies. A shark is going to eat my mom. I will drop a bomb on these stupid new Star Wars movies. The Force Awakens was good. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, there was one part that I did. I'm going to throw this water in your face. Why? Because they were horrible. They got awful. Let's not get into it. Let's, let's he almost took it. his headphones off. He was going to walk away. No, I didn't get something to get through the drink. Well, wait, what do you mean? I'll be right back. I need something. To We're starting. I need something to drink. This podcast is based around you. Just... All right. I don't know uh, all that no, water I'll is. tell you what. Go get, a, go get a fresh cup, buddy. Yeah, we can handle things from here. Yeah, we You're did. off. We recently had a stomach You're fired. Bug. I'm just kidding. Go get uh -huh. some water. We had a stomach bug in the house. and I don't, <laughs> any, any glass with water in it is right. getting washed with bleach. Well, hurry up. Yeah, you don't want to be eating. Those cupcakes are old, man. <laughs> <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> no, they're not. Cupcakes, cupcakes never be old, in <laughs> my opinion. That's true. I will eat good. cupcakes. Cupcakes are okay, man. I, I do like the life hack where you cut them in half. And oh, and then you put it yeah, on make top? Yeah, make them more like a sandwich. Yeah. Man, that's a... Uh, all these little life hacks that have come out, I'm not going to lie. I love some, life some, hacks. some of them are so genius. I saw one where, like, if, let's say, you break a glass... Get like a piece of bread and kind of press it down on the glass. You know, not hard. Yeah. But you do it and that like picks up all those little shards of glass. Genius. Yeah. Life hacks rule. And then you can feed it to a homeless guy. Yeah. Screw him. <laughs> he ain't got nothing to live for. That's messed up. What did a homeless man get for Christmas? What's that? <laughs> nothing. Uh, bam. <laughs> what did a homeless man get for Valentine's Day? What's that? <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. What the homeless man get for July Fourth? What? <laughs> Unnamed tomb. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Aiden. We're sorry for the unprofessionalism of Aiden. We could have paused it, I guess. Ah, oh, we could have, but mm. why? Yeah. Something shiny. Bucky was in my way. Yeah. All right. Hustle up, <laughs> Aiden. Hustle up. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll get settled back in. Aiden's back. Aiden's back. Back, back again. again. <laughs> Aiden's back. Ah. Aiden's back. Aiden's back. <clears throat> well, anyways. So oh, yeah, he's dancing. So we were talking about movies and, and all that. Uh, Aiden, we've, we've gone to see quite a few of the movies, man. Right? We've seen mm -hmm. most of the Avengers and all that. And we, what Do you have a favorite? A favorite you, Avengers movie? Or just a favorite comic book. I mm -hmm. have I did I did not Mike, like comic books. Speak into no, the comic mic. comic book movie. Comic like book like what? Movie. What are comic book movies? Like Avenge superheroes. Like Black Wit like 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 by the name Black Panther, The Avengers, or Age of Ultron, Captain Infinity America, Wars, cool. Guardians which, of the Galaxy. Which one did you? Is there one in particular that you really really liked? The new Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come the on, mic. 
No. Um. So you don't you don't have a favorite? No, I do. I j- no, not really. Well, name just name some of the ones you like. Name some movies the, that you like. I mean, Age of Ultron, Black Panther. All right, stop. What did you like about Age of Ultron? Mm, maybe Ultron. Yeah, you liked like Ultron, it. and then you liked what? Black Panther. Oh, and also Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was hilarious. Yeah, that was a good one. I liked that one. That was really funny. I mean, just that one guy just made... He just... <laughs> we come from the land of the nice and snow. Into the mic. No. <laughs> speak into the That's mic. A, I think we still picked it up. Yeah. Remember Des- to speak into the mic. Despite his greatest efforts. What were you just singing there? How's it go? I don't know. Oh, Wait, well. how's it go? I'm going to sing with you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we come from the land of snow. Nice and I snow. Know. I have no idea. That's all right. That's <laughs> a cool part, though. That's a good song. That's Led Zeppelin, The Misty Mountains, I believe. I think. I know it's Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know it's Led Zeppelin. That's sad. God of Thunder. I like the guy. I like the uh, the, the little, s- not even the main character, just that one guy. Hey, <laughs> you know he's like, oh yeah, he's he's like, what do you think, Bob? He's like, oh, yeah, well, Bob's dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I, oh, new Doug. I, I new Doug. Yeah, yeah, new Doug. Yeah, new yeah. Doug. Yeah. yeah, I love that. He's all like, you know, he's he's you know, I've been felt bad. I've been just this is a Ragnarok, by the way. And then. And he's like, oh, he's alive. What, what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys upload this, put in the the title, spoilers. No. That's mean. We're, we've spoiled some of the movie. Yeah. For people that haven't seen it. Well, we're 11 minutes in. You just brought up spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> we just said that at the beginning. Wait, you've, we've been recording for Yes, four. we have. We've sure have. You. You've been singing oh. Thriller and no. the Misty Mountains. No. <laughs> yeah. It's already on the internet. All your friends are going to hear it. Mm. And your stupid rapping friend will hear I, it. I <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, yo, Aiden, what's up? Why ain't you got me on the mic? Because I ride my bike. <laughs> Is that what he does? Uh-oh. Is his name Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Is he Oscar Mike? Don't you get any of the equipment wet? The right way for a smacked bottom. Is he a little tyke? <laughs> Does he ride a trike? I'm what? not. I'm not answering those questions. Fair enough. What's his name, Mike? No last names. I'm not telling you. Mike. That's secretive information. Mike Jajerski. <laughs> It's always got to be a ski. No, let's just continue on the movie. Okay. Well, mm. I love Thor Ragnarok. You know what sucks, though? What's that? My mom and I, I are sitting bad. at our house. I feel bad. And we're like, I, what do you feel bad about? I, I I'm act- talking. No, no, I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike. Talking to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you interrupted me, and now okay. you're not talking. Okay, continue see- Oh, thank you. you. With his permission, Jeff, you may thank, continue. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> this is what happened, Aiden, Pat, Padu. Yeah. My mom and I, we were like, <laughs> we were bored one night, and I kept hearing Thor. I didn't see Thor Ragnarok in the theaters, but I kept hearing it was funny. You know, it was a good movie. And um, so, I, so it was like my mom and I just decided to go ahead and rent it. So we rented it, you know, five ninety five, and we'll watch it. We absolutely loved it. I mean, it's just comedy throughout that whole movie. It's just an amazing movie. The next day, I cut on Netflix, and they just added Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like, I just paid for That's, it. Yeah, it's usually the case. That's what happens. But I have to say, Thor Ragnarok. It's a funny movie. It's hilarious. Talking to the mic. Aiden, are you more of a DC? Marvel. Marvel? Why, why do you like Marvel better? For some reason, it just gets... Microphone, buddy. It, it just gives me a feeling that DC copied some of the characters in Marvel. It kind of gives me that feeling. I don't know which was made first, Marvel or DC. Let me just... You hate Ben Affleck as Batman, don't you? Say yes. He's, old, he's too old. You can't you can't nod your head. People have to hear you say <laughs> yes. yes. 
<laughs> he, he is an older Batman. I mean, well, he does play an older Batman, but he's just a moron. Well, they they have a they kind of cross over quite a few between Marvel and DC. There's characters that cross over. So I mean, they've kind of come out now and admitted that they've you know copied here and there. But I'm always curious why you know you know kid, a lot of the kiddos or younger kids uh, they like DC or they like Marvel more than DC. Because I've always kind Mike. of Marvel. <laughs> Dead air talk. <laughs> <laughs> Into the mic. Dead air. People are right. waiting for somebody else to speak. Well, I was asking you. He was asking you. Oh. Going, go into more a little bit more detail. Why do you like Marvel over DC? Mm. I act. I don't know why. It's just. Do you like the character? Do you like the characters better? Yeah, probably, maybe that. There's a little more comedy aspect in the Marvel movies. I yeah. have a poster in my room with Marvel. Yeah, he's got a lot. All the Marvel characters, good and bad, right? Yeah. That's a cool poster. Plus, I think like like Iron Man is like cool. He's like red and gold, and it's shiny, and it's Robert just metallic. Jr. You know, his name's Robert Downey Jr. Uh, his name's Tony Stark because it's Iron Man. Who wins in a fight, Batman or Iron Man? The both rich. They both have suits. Who wins? Well, They're both geniuses. Well, um, Iron Man kind of has. The advantage be able being able to fly, but Batman's got a grappling hook. <laughs> that's, that's a, and that's a pretty you're dang awesome right. That's a, that's but a, Iron Man has a metal suit. Batman just has like a rubber suit. Yeah, that's true. That's a valid. That's a valid point. And, well, and if I bet if Batman tries punching Iron Man's suit, it will probably hurt his hand, or it won't hurt. But at don't all. you think Batman's super smart? Like he would but, figure out a way. But, uh, Iron Man has. The little like can ion cannon, cannon yeah, blasters. Jets, yeah. yeah, but Batman only has... He doesn't really have any guns. He uh, usually fist fights. Well, he doesn't use guns. Well, he has battle rings. He has battle rings. Now, he might use a gun, like shoot him with like a like or, an EMP, like electromagnetic he, pulse, he, and that will shut down the Iron Man suit. Or, well, or he can uh, use one of the battle rings to hit Iron Man in that. So the circle on his chest, or to like jam in to the Jarvis system. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Well, couldn't. it's not Jarvis anymore. Really? It's right. Friday, isn't it, or something like that? I don't know. Who's boy? Who? What's what the girl to that Jarvis, does it? Jarvis, though. Jarvis became uh, what's his Vision. name? Vision. Vision. Oh, Vision. Yeah. Vision. Yeah. Remember that was the same guy. He did the voice for uh, <laughs> Jarvis. He bet you he didn't see that coming. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> get it, Aiden? Because he's dust. No, he's he's not dust. After spoiler the, alert. Eh, spoiler. Um, Thanos pulled the Infinity Stone out of uh, Vision's head, and then he turned all dusty. Kind Vision of. was kind of a wuss in that movie. I expected him to be more powerful. Yeah, because he had a freaking Infinity Stone in his forehead, lodged in his. Forehead. Yes. Good word, buddy. But he didn't get beat by Thanos. He's getting his butt kicked by Why some... Why couldn't Doctor Strange just go back in time and prevent uh, Iron Man from getting hurt? Well... He, can, he could have trapped them in, like, one of the loops. But you see, he did... Uh, he went and saw 14 million outcomes, and that was the only way to win. How did they win, exactly? They oh, didn't win. They uh, lost the battle, but technically, now if you want to go well, to the comics, technically all those people that turned to dust, they're in the they're in the stone. They're not the, the dead. Soul, they're don't right? forget the about Captain. Stone, yes. What about Captain Marvel? She can always she, come back in the next movie. Well, just... she's supposed to come back in the next movie. Really? Yeah, she will be in Avengers four. Will be her Ant Man, Wa Wasp, and um, I think you know Captain America. Iron Avengers Man. Infinity War was episode four. That would be epi that would be uh, Avengers five. But well, yeah, it would be f number four because. It, but That's it's what just I said. A, but it's just a different part. Part two. Yes. Part four and a half. <laughs> yeah. Four and a half. <laughs> Do you want to see Thanos get his butt kicked? Dead air. <laughs> mm, yeah, but the question is, where are the Infinity Stones now? 
they're in his glove. Where do you think they are? No. Where are they? Because after uh, Thanos snapped his fingers, it destroyed the gauntlet. Did it? Yeah. It did, sir. Oh, well, that's different from the comics because in and the comics. Just, and then they all spread out again. See, so in the where comics. Are they now? In the comics, Nebula gets the Infinity Stone. Who's Nebula? Uh, Gamora's sister that's kind of a oh, robot. Oh, yeah. But she almost died. Yeah. He tortured her bad in the comics. But, yeah. didn't, but didn't she end up dying, turning to dust? I don't know if Nebula did. I don't remember if she I don't did. know where she went after she... I don't. I think she's still on Thanos' ship. I don't know. That's a pretty girl underneath all that. She has red hair. Like She's just a beautiful redhead. You like chicks? Yep. Okay. If you can marry Gamora or Black Widow, who would you marry? He's thinking. I don't know. Contemplating. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. Maybe Black Widow. Good call. Because she's human. Yeah, well, uh, you know, but you can have Black an Widow. alien girlfriend. You'd be cool. You'd be cooler in your high school. Bo oh, I'm dating Darcy O'Donnell. Hell, I'm dating this green chick who's an alien and she's hot. Her so. name's Gamora. Yeah. Bla where, b Black Widow has... Um, Gamora a better than your girlfriend. <laughs> well, Gamora has a giant sword. But she, she's kind of easy to kill. She's also... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, she's also thin as a paper. I mean, why, why did Thanos throw his own daughter off to of a cliff? get the soul and, stone. Yeah, he had to make a sacrifice. Self, hashtag selfish. <laughs> oh, yeah. absolutely. It was a... Pound sign selfish. Yep. <laughs> but, uh. This is fun. Huh? This is, this is fun. Huh? What, you yeah. having fun? Yeah. You're not very good at it. We'll probably never have you on again. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He's messing, buddy. What did you think about Civil War? What did you think about Iron Man and Captain America fighting? Mike. Mm. Uh, okay, kind of. It was okay. I kind of thought. I um. I uh, I thought Captain America was gonna win. I don't think anyone really won or lost. Really. No, I think Captain America won. Well, I know they, was left on the ground. Well, they did arrest um, like I, Falcon and um. Yeah. What's the guy's name? Um, Madero. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah. Um. Maybe Scott? Did they yeah, they, Scott? Scott, they arrested yeah. Scott. They arrested Ant Man too. That is Scott. Ant Man is Scott. I was just saying it for the audience. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so, did you see the original Iron Man movies? I, don't I know think I saw part of the one when War Machine was. Oh, okay. That one. Iron Man 3? Okay. Is that Iron Man 3? I think so. It might be 2. Might be. Yeah. Did you... So, what did you think of Black Panther? It was okay. It was okay? Is Black Panther your favorite? Who's your favorite? My favorite... My favorite... Your favorite Avengers? character yeah, in the movies. Get, yeah. Like, I love Star-Lord. Star-Lord cracks me up. Thor. That's a good call. I love um, Thor. Captain America. Mm -hmm. And... Steve Rogers. Rocket. Rocket? Rocket. Yeah, Rocket's cool. cool. I like how, I do like how Thor's evolved to where he's gone from hardcore, I'm a god, you know, this yeah. is, I'm a, you know, to where he's actually, you know, turned into a really funny character to where he's almost more Iron Man-ish and all that now. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, Thor Ragnarok, we got in a fight. I won easily. Really? I, I thought I would, no, I won. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, yeah, I like Star-Lord too. I like the, between Star-Lord and Thor when they're talking, yeah. he starts talking deeper. Yeah, he's like, why are you talking like this? This is my normal voice. You are just a dude. He's <laughs> like, this is a man. <laughs> you are a dude. Oh, um, Drax remember, in the comics was uh, built to defeat Thanos. Like, mm -hmm. he beat the crap. But then again, like, I was upset because Thanos beat up the Hulk, you know? But He I, never came out then. But then I, yeah, because yeah. he was like, he didn't want to. He's scared. But he had, but you, did you tell me that Thanos already had two stones when he fought the Hulk? And one yeah. was the Power Stone, right? Pu the purple, the space, the mind and space. No, wait, the purple. I think he had the Power Stone. No, he had the, pr he had purple and blue. And what do they represent? I th the blue represents the mind. I know that. And then I think purple is space. Are you sure? 
Are you uh, sure that's not magenta? I think. Well, yeah. What? No, I think it's purple. It might. Yeah. They they change. I think they change the colors red, a little bit. I think bit red the, is uh, power. Wait, where did know. he get the red Infinity Stone? I don't know. I, I thought I thought someone told me like the reason why I was able to beat up the Hulk is because he had the Power Stone. No, yeah. he had the purple. The red is the power, blue is mind, uh, purple is space, orange, I mean, yellow or orange I'm is I'm looking soul. it up. He's looking it up. I, I don't, I don't. If you're wrong, this. if you're wrong, you have to come mow my yard. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Well, right. oh, you can't back out now. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, A-Bomb will be mowing know. Uncle Mac's yard. I don't know, actually. I and don't the grass know. is getting high in the back. But I know the blue one is the Mind Stone, because he controlled Hawkeye with it. The green one is the soul stone. I know that. No, the green one's no, the time No, the green stone. one is the time soul stone. Well, in the movie, the green one is ah. the time stone. No, it's not. Yes, it is. In the movie, the green one is the time stone. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm stopping the recording. No, ta- <laughs> no Doctor Strange. Yeah, because Doctor used- Strange had the green one. Yeah, which was the soul stone. It was not. No, Vision. How did Vision? Vision had the yellow one. He, that was the soul stone. Vision was a wuss. The power stone was purple. The power stone was purple, so he did have the power the stone. The reality stone is red. Ooh. The space stone is blue. Oh, no, wait, what? Yep. Wait, no. Yep. Oh! I'm looking it up right now. Oh, the soul, that- the soul gem is orange. Mm-hmm. The time stone is... Green. Green. Is, is I had orange. no idea. I really thought the blue one was the mind stone. Well, you were wrong. When do you want to come over and mow? Tomorrow? No. What are I'm you doing tomorrow? Over. You lost. So what? Is this what your dad and your mom raised you to welch on bets? He didn't shake your hand. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> 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 so back to the movies. Yeah. We right. got distracted there. But yeah, well anyway, so yeah, he was able to beat up the Hulk because he had the power stone. Because I was really ticked because they made the Hulk look a like a wuss and I, I didn't like that because like the hulk when there was when i was like younger like a teenage year like 20 30 <laughs> God, i don't even remember yeah like 30 years ago they did an awesome comic book adult, crossover you're not a teenager. i said when i was like 30 years ago i'm not even an adult let's be honest <laughs> i'm just old but they did a crossover and it was superman versus the hulk yeah and uh, Superman won, but the Hulk was able to fight, you know. He was able to stand toe-to-toe with Superman for a while, but then, like, Superman punched him. Superman got so upset that he punched him to the moon. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Well, I think that was the point, though. I think from a psychological standpoint, they wanted to beat up the Hulk real quick and let you know how powerful Thanos was. Do you think that's why the Hulk wouldn't come out? Because he was scared? No. I, well, I kind of think he was scared that he might get killed and also that. Get beat up again? Yeah, get beat up. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, he, he was manhandled. It wasn't just a, you know, he lost in a epic fight. I mean, Thanos just... Quickly punched him. He I mean, punched just him in two shots. took the shots and just well, kind of hung out there. Sad. I was kind of sad when Loki died. Kind of sad. I don't think he's dead. Are you sure? He got suffocated. I don't think even he's dead. See his... Are you sure? I'm sure. He wasn't breathing, though. Maybe. But Loki, I mean... Loki's the trickster god. Maybe someone... Oh, maybe he you, he did like one of those decoys. Maybe someone might be in Avengers 4. This guy. And I read the script. There's value in that. You don't know? Who are you going to play as? I'm going to be mild-mannered, dude. Oh, I only have one line in it. Guy at Coffee House. I only have one line. Frightened inmate number one. I do. I have one line. Like, I go, here's your coffee, Tony. And then Tony starts, hey, it's the coffee. Yeah. And then later on, I am, I'm in like a jail, and I'm like, oh. But you can't see me close, because I already have my shot where I'm like, here, here's your coffee, Mr. Stark. He's like, thank you. And then he like gives it to Loki. That's how I know. Boom. Why are you looking at me man, like he is that? mean mugging you like it's not, man, I wish we had some video. <laughs> He's not buying it. So Loki is not dead. A-Bomb's not on board. I think he's dead. I Well, kind of. Well, how could you be kind of dead and not? (laughs) Well, he could have used one of his decoys. So then he's alive. 
Maybe. And in Avengers 4. Maybe. And he gets coffee from Tony he Stark, who gets coffee from me. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. He was, was he in every Avengers movie? Who's no. That? Loki? No, he was in Age of Ultron, wasn't he? No, he wasn't in that. He was in, of course, the Thor movie. The first one. The first then, Avengers. The first Avengers, yes, because he was... He was the main bad guy. Because Thanos actually sent all that there. Yeah, why? I, here's a question. If, if you're Thanos and you're that powerful... Why would you waste time sending all these underlings to go do your bidding? That's exactly why, because of his ego. I mean, he's like, why would he I even... have any of the Infinity Stones, then. I mean, but he would just it. be like, he would just be like, they were so beneath me. Just send my army. He, yeah, I guess so. He only I'm going to sit on this throne, which I think is a toilet throne. Cause Could he, be. He only had the gauntlet, then. He didn't have any of the Infinity Stones, because... Um, Guardians of the Galaxy had the Power Stone. That's true. And, who, wait, he might have had the blue one. Oh, they did confer? No, because, no. um, the, the cube was with, uh, the, the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, that was on, uh... Oh, wait, the so blue he one? Have any yeah. Of them. He didn't have any of them. Loki had that one. No, the event, the uh, shield did, and then Loki got it. Oh, okay. And yeah, then Loki got it, and then yeah, Loki got it from the uh, the vault. The collector? No, Benicio uh, del Toro. No, no, no. That was really the other one. That's where the Avengers put theirs. You mean Guardians of the Galaxy? And Guardians of the Galaxy. No, the Guardians of the Galaxy's put there on that uh, planet that got destroyed. Yeah. No. I thought they put one with the collector too. No, they, they only. No, they only put their. No, because uh, because what's his name showed up. And remember, that's where Gamora almost died. He got the Infinity Stone and put it in his, like, hammer. And then he, like, even threatened Thanos with it. And Thanos goes, boy! And then he tried to destroy that um, uh, world. Thor? Thor? No. no. Um, I can't think of his name. It was the, pur the purple guy. Or yeah. yeah. He's from, he went to Klein High School. Did he really? Yeah. What, did he, what is his name start with? I can't think of his name. You got it? Yeah. Because well, yeah, I know they put one with the Collector... Uh, that's the one they. they oh, it might have been. It might have been uh, the Red Stone. Because Thanos got it from the collector. Well, the Power Stone they got from uh, the Red Stone was from uh, Thor. Was it? Yeah, I remember that was the second. Right Thor. now, people are screaming. It's it's really. Was it Ronan? Yeah, Ronan. That's it. How do you know? Yeah, it was Ronan. Because remember, he gets it. Yeah, he had the and purple then stone. he didn't want. Can you see the comments? No. No, we're not. We're not on there yet. Uh, yeah, because remember, then he went to destroy that home world where, uh, what's his name? The really great actor is, um, you know, played in Step Brothers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and they, remember, uh, what's her? I, Jessica, not Jessica Lang. God, we are just doing horrible names. But, uh, she put the Infinity Stone in a vault on that planet. And then, like, uh, you know, then it was just said in, uh, you know, the Thanos movie that that planet was destroyed by Thanos. Right. Now which I brings... Was um, a Thanos movie? No, there wasn't a Thanos no, movie. No, I just forgot the name of it. Infinity War. Yeah, it was It was the second. The, the Power Stone came into play when they had... Uh, I bet people are going to be correcting us. In the oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it was Ronan. Ronan. Yeah, Ronan the purple. Yeah, but we're also doing it on the fly. What does that mean? It means we're not. We're just kind of looking it up as, or you know, as it comes Interesting up. Interesting fact. Hit me. Ronan in the Ultimate Marvel version, the comic book. Ronan is the son of Thanos and is part of his empire. He is ultimately defeated by the Thing. The Thing. Huh, I didn't know that. From uh, Fantastic thing? Four, The Rock. Big Rock Oh, guy? yeah. Really? Now, those movies were horrible. What's what? that? Oh, the Fantastic Four? Like, I would love, yeah, those were they've, god They've done awful. such a bad job. To me, it's 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 so much. I, I, I always talk about it. It's, it's more tied into casting. I, they just haven't hit that, that home run. You know, I mean. They really screwed up casting in the remake because you had uh, Kate Mara, White. And her brother is Michael B. Jordan Black. And everyone was like, dude. And she was like kind of just 
she's like, no, I don't read comics, and I'm not going to. And you're talking to comic book fans. It's like, don't say that. Like, what was really great, the girl was playing Captain Marvel. Uh, like, when she, literally, right when she got the part, she put up a picture on Twitter of her laying on her couch reading Captain Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's very yeah, smart. Yeah, that's, that's a smart move. But, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like you're. We know you're trying to throw that in there to be inclusive and whatever. Just don't, it, you know. It's almost like the. I mean, bad direction too, because they had Chris Evans who did the flame. Was, yeah, he was Johnny Blaze. Torch, or, yeah, yeah, and just and then he went on to be Captain America and did awesome. Aiden, if Thanos doesn't have any Infinity Stones and he fights the Hulk, who wins? Straight up. Straight up. Mono or Monster El Aliendo. He's thinking, folks. Thanos versus the Hulk, straight I, up. I want to say Thanos. I want to say the Hulk. Yeah, I would go with the Hulk. I would, too. What Have you seen Incredibles 2? No. Is that good? Spoiler alert. Spoiler Tell us alert. about it. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. You can talk about it. Well, it won. It broke the record for um, Pixar animated movies. Did yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. You know what's weird? It took them seventeen years to make part two of that movie. Well, they they had so many other projects, and I felt no, they they. It's actually funny. Spoiler alert. No, it only took fourteen years. Oh, Wait, okay. Yeah. It only took fourteen years for them. To Fine, fourteen to seventeen. Spoiler alert. They actually talk about it when they first open up. They apologize for it taking so long. Really? Yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. that's cool. Yeah, it was nice. I was like, all right, that's cool. It kind of put everybody at it's ease. It's kind of nice when, like, movies break that fourth wall. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, Deadpool fourth wall, because, you know, he's he's just doing it all over the place. You like Deadpool? I haven't seen the full movie. But you shouldn't. I, but I've seen the fight scene. In the you first need to one. be talking the into the mic. The dead Talk one. into the mic. Did I, though? Yes. You saw the fight scene where that guy falls from the thing. Goes that guy was already there. No. No, the uh, Deadpool one. That's what I mean. The fight scene. Yeah. The opening fight scene. Yeah, because that guy falls and he goes. Do you know why? He was already up there when I got here. Do you know why? Do you know why I wear a red suit? So why? bad guys can't make me see me bleed. Oh yeah. That guy's got the right idea. Because he was wearing his brown pants. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's gonna so pee. Don't. No. Oh. <laughs> Peace. Number two. He was gonna go number two. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Because we're brown. Pe Do you mean <laughs> poop? He's gonna poop his pants. Maybe. I do that all the time. Yeah, I just wear adult diapers. Just TMI. Run TMI. Yeah, man. <laughs> I just lay in my bed, play my video games on my laptop. I don't have to get up. It's great. You should start wearing them now. And you don't have to, when you're playing PlayStation or Xbox, just keep playing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've grossed them out. Mm. Well, Aiden, in the future, what do you want to see happen in comic movies? Oh, let's go to your, let's go to Padu. Padu? Yeah. Mm. What would you want to see in the future as far as comic book movies? Well, um, I would really like them to see, I'd really like to see them do a whole movie on Silver Surfer. I think that would do very I agree. well. I think that would be great. Obviously, you know, do something with Fantastic Four, get it right. See Thanos die. He wants to see Thanos die. Maybe. I actually really like the Thanos character. I I, like I can't say I relate to him, but I understand his he's his just, purpose in life. He's an environmental terrorist, basically. That's basically what he is. I mean how long have we been We've been on this for thirty nine minutes. Wait, what? Yeah. 39 that's minutes. Half, that's more than a half an hour. Yeah. yeah. Have you, did you guys start filming before without me? No. Oh. We filmed when you were singing oh. or recorded. Stop touching your stuff. <laughs> Talking to... Uh, don't! <laughs> <laughs> but it... I mean, there's, I mean, there's some... There's a lot of things I feel like they could do. Screen saver. <laughs> Incredibles too, oh. and, and especially with yeah, especially what they're doing in DC. There's to me DC made a huge mistake by bringing out Superman right off the bat. I felt like they should have saved him and brought him in slowly and slowly integrated him. 
by you, you bringing out your most par- powerful character right off the bat, you're setting yourself up for failure. Here's my th- take on Superman and even Wonder Woman. Like, you got something to say? Yeah. Go for it. Like, um, they didn't really stand out straight off. Well, they kind of did. See, they in the first event. Well, they built up to it. They didn't let you yeah. see his power. So when you finally see, that's a good, and that's what you're talking about too. Is they let you see him. Talking to the mic. In the Infinity War, <laughs> you get to see Thanos in almost full power. Maybe full power. Well, you see him at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy in the uh, like the last credit yeah. thing. Because he goes, ah, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. Was that Guardians of the Galaxy? I think yeah, so. Yeah, it was. If you, want, if you want something done. Yeah, and then he's putting on the Infinity Gauntlet or yeah. whatever. And see, that's what I'm Wait. saying. Like, you know, I mean, and kind of like what Aiden's touching on, too, is... The fact that you see him, and it naturally—I mean, I don't—I can sit there and tell you—I don't know how many people when the theater first time you saw it go immediately go to their phones there and start looking up who's at the end of the movie. You know, you start, and then they start researching Thanos. You start building a cult around him. You know, that's like if they would have given you a glimpse of Superman, right? And then built up to it, and then brought him in for like Justice League or something right. like that. But again, my problem with Superman. What are you doing? Talking to the mic. Why are you talking? You're like 18 feet away there from the mic. There was an idea to, <laughs> to bring a group of remarkable people to fight the battles that we louder. That they never could. Louder. I got him. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Incredibles? No. Who is that? It's Infinity the War. The A-Team? It's Infinity War. Oh. You know, as a superhero, the A-Team. George Papard. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. T. Destiny Boom. still allies. Dirk Benedict. I don't know, playing Murdoch. The, <laughs> end of the, the end of the world is near. Quote That's thing. all I know. That's That's all, I've, I quoted what they said in the trailer. Oh, okay. But not all of it. Do you think trailers give it a, give too much of the yeah, movie away? they give some, uh, some stuff away. I like the first trailer of the Infinity War, though. Uh, yeah. The teaser? Yeah. Mm, okay. But as I was saying before I got interrupted twice ah. now, Superman and Wonder Woman in the DC movies, they're just too powerful. It's like I sit there and I watch Superman, I'm like going Yeah. Oh, this guy's shooting him with a minigun. Who cares? And they made one and Wonder Woman in the comic books are is super powerful. And it's the same thing there. They're like Nazis are shooting at her and she's just like, eh. No big deal. You know, she like dodges a bullet. Like, what is this, the Matrix? Yeah. I, you know, it's so. Too I'm, much. It's like, I like a little. That's why I like when Than. That's why I did like when Thanos showed up because there was, I tell you, there was kind of like, part of me was kind of like good. I'm watching these heroes get their butts kissed. Like, they really have to try. Yeah. Did you like that, Aiden? What? Watching what? them get their butts kicked. You can't nod your head. You have to say yes, but not really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to see in the future, Aiden, as far as comic book movies go? I actually don't know. You need to talk into the mic. I don't know. You have your head turned. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Is that better? Well, all right. Seems like we're uh, ADD starting to kick in. Please don't wrap it up. Well, we have to, buddy. No. We We're can't right. go on forever. We can do a live, a live stream, which is a little and long. long. What? We'll We've do- gone an hour, practically. Wait, what? We've gone 45 minutes. We just need to go a couple, like, 15 more minutes. But you got to talk into the mic. Okay. You got to give answers other than I don't know. Yeah. You want to sing a song? No. <laughs> we got you singing too. You might as well surround it no. out. Okay. So. Have you seen the Spider Man movie? No, not Spider Man. It's good. Spider-Man. You can tell that um, mm-hmm. Spider Man home, there's, there, there, all the Avengers are going to come back. Well, they're already filming Spider Man 2 and like Black Panther 2. Yeah. Black exactly. Panther 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, but it could be a sub. Wreck it, Ralph. Hacks into this internet. Who's Wreck It Ralph? Oh yeah, they are doing a Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph, uh, Wreck it Ralph too. Saw a oh, preview for that. It's, never. It's it's a it's one. He's of my, Wreck It Ralph. He's one of my that's one of my favorite kids. I'm gonna movies. wreck it. He's a. Uh, 
with Fix It Felix. It's kind of a throwback to some of the 80s arcades and stuff like oh, that. Okay. It's kind of like Donkey Kong Jr. All but right. uh, but it's it's pretty cool, man, because they touch base on Qbert and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's a if you get a chance, watch it's it's one of my favorite kids movies. Well, I was did you see uh, Ready Player One yet? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk it about that. It was good. It was oh, good. Yeah. That yeah, that, I, that, that made, made my heart sing because that was when I was a kid. Yeah, all those my things heart they were showing. Swamp. You know the little throwbacks, even the little Terminator throwbacks. Just the fact that they had to use the chant from from the movie Excalibur back in the eighties was awesome. And but now that's right. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 the Iron Giant. Yeah, that was cool. You know the the at towards the end of the movie. Spoiler alert. When they're ru- the all the online players are running, yeah, and then there's like a one girl with short hair holding up a gun. Mm-hmm. I know what uh, game she's from. What was she from? Overwatch. Oh, okay. It's I like, saw Halo in there. Yeah, like, yeah. There's like six or. I just love at the beginning. Them. There's someone walking around as Marvin the Martian. It's like, oh my god, that's yeah. hilarious. I'm surprised they didn't have Sonic. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah. But there's so much in there. So you there probably got to watch yeah, it three may or four be. times. Yeah, there, he may be in there. Because, you know, in The Phantom Menace, did you ever see the Star Wars The Phantom Menace? Yes, that is one of my, kind of my favorite. Uh, did you know, you know the movie E.T.? Yeah. E.T.'s in there. Really? Yeah. Did you know that? Uh-uh. I thought you knew Wait, that. In the background or something? You know, when, when she's doing, like when all the politicians are in that big room? Yeah, with all those E.T. Uh, is at the, they... Do a shot of all the people, you know, all the all the politicians for real going, ah, you know, race yeah. E. T.'s down at the bottom right. I'll, I'll check it out. So, I've flat out. Well, because I know they work together on stuff. Oh yeah, Spielberg and uh, Lucas, sure, yeah. uh, yeah, just but, um, you know, because they did uh, Watch Me Doodle. My together. favorite part in uh, did, uh, Star Raiders Wars, of Lost Ark. Star Wars: uh, Phantom Menace. Yes, was probably the fight scene against Qui Gon Jinn, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Darth Maul. Darth Maul was so bad, wasn't he? But then no. he got beat by a Padawan. No, no. It was an apprentice. But it was apprentice versus apprentice. It was well, it was a master and apprentice versus an apprentice. And, well, Obi-Wan Kenobi was against an apprentice who could beat a master. That's true. That's true. Let's see here. But, um, you know. There they are. <laughs> what? E.T.'s. Who? Who? Oh, yeah, look at that. Can I see? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me turn up my screen so y'all can see that. There, you can see them better now. Now, phone mm-hmm, home. That's pretty cool. There they are. E.T. and Star Wars Phantom There's Menace. three of them. Yeah, because, you know, they represent their home world. Yeah. They should not like to have their fingers glow. Hey, yeah. we want to speak. <laughs> Down with Texas. <laughs> <laughs> No represent, no taxation without <laughs> representation. We want Reese's. <laughs> Get it? No. All right. That's Turn your too. head. Stop talking to the mic. We're going longer oh. for you. Wait, what? Oh, we're well, gonna cut it off. But thank you. you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so you like the Phantom Menace when yeah. the fight scene? Yeah, and I also kind of like the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, when he killed all those little kids. No. What? That was awesome. I was laughing Attack my butt off. Attack of the Clones off. was... Eh. You know I made Attack of the Clones bad? Because they what? put, like, new kids on the block in there as Jedi. They uh, also killed the guy. They which killed guy? the little kid. Which guy? Like a teenager. Uh, uh, it was clones versus the teenager kid. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They killed Jango Fett. No. Yeah, they did. No. And then Bobo Fett picks up his head. No, Han Solo. No, wait. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, Han Solo kills uh, Boba Fett. No, he doesn't. Yeah, well, he luck. He was basically, it was his fault because he hit him. His He hit his jetpack, <clears throat> which launched him into the pit. The Sarlacc. Yeah. And then the Sarlacc ate him for bre- breakfast. Nope. Bobo. It was, it was more of a lunch. Yeah. Well, it, was, it was a late lunch. Maybe a brunch. We'll call Boba brunch. Fett climbed out of that in the comic books. Really? Yeah, as. Because of that Mandalorian armor. He's a Mandalore and their armor's like their armor can take a lot of punishment. But he died in the movie. Nope. Yeah, he died nope. in the movie. You don't see him. You don't see him die, you just see him go in there. No, you can clearly see he get eaten. Yeah, and he goes did you in. You know there's spikes in the Yeah, like, how do you think he climbed out of that? He was no. grabbing on to the spikes to pull himself up. When but he comes up, falls. his armor's like 
like all the ass, his armor protected him from the stomach acid of the sarlacc. So he could be still alive, but he would probably die of, of starvation. <clears throat> nope, he lived, and then he went to try to kill Han Solo's son, Jason, who killed Boba Fett's daughter by making her head slam into the table repeatedly with the Force because he became a Sith. But Disney took you, over. Now none <laughs> of that's real. Screw you, Disney. Then Disney went the other direction. Yeah. Thank you. Don't worry, Star Wars folks. It's a good hands. No. Destroy everything. <laughs> Do it. Do it now. Do it. Thanos it. <laughs> <laughs> do, do it now. I have the Infinity Gauntlet. Boom. <laughs> Snap of my finger. Everything you loved about Star Wars is now dead. So, because what was, those your, other, fa what wow. was your favorite Star Wars movie? I, you know, when I was a kid. The old ones. Yeah. Episode 4, the first one. I made me. I love that movie. I watch it like a... I can, I can quote that movie from start to finish. You probably know... Um, you, I could do the lines. You probably already knew this, but the fourth, fifth, and sixth became came out before the first. Second, no. Third. Yeah. Oh yes, I knew that. Yes, I knew that. I was like, because he didn't think the first, second, thirds would be good, so he started off at four, five, six. He's like actually pretty smart because the then he could go back and do the backstory. Yep. Charming, smart. to the last. Smart marketing. I'm just gonna do lines from Star Wars now, Episode Four. Taekwon Jin should have been more smarter. More smarter, more smart. Yeah. Well, he, because when, uh, well, spoilers alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. I mean, he's um, like 15 years old. I haven't seen it too bad. <laughs> so, um, when Darth Maul has the dub double. Recognized your foul stench he, when I came on board? He was, um. Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? He, um, when he went like this, Kai Kwan Jin still had his lightsaber in Yeah. Head. And he could have just... Right. And just killed them. And then just... Or, As a samurai, you're always supposed to have control of center. Do you know, um... Uh, he, Darth Maul actually survived the big hole? And he showed up in Star Wars Rebels. I heard that. Like, did he have, like, he magnetic like, legs? He had, like, sit... He was like a spider, basically. Yeah, somebody said... Because you want to know why? Because when a lightsaber cuts through somebody... It immediately cauterizes the wound. Like, they don't bleed because it's so hot, it seals the wound. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I have one. Don't kill me. Negative. I mean, uh, yes. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Just real quick. Where you go no, oh, we're going to end the podcast. We're going to shut it down, Bubba. Just real quick. Just real quick. I'll go get something. Negative. Negative. Then go, go in. Save for the next one. Wait, what? Oh, we're so close uh, to situation is fine. Everything's normal. But we're so How are you? To, we're so close to it. Well, some live streams are about 50 minutes. So we, sh we could end it He'll here. He'll be dead. We'll, we could end it here. We could end it here. Can we? Mm-hmm. I'm we just going to do Star Wars lines. Really? I've been doing them the whole time. Just keep doing them. Is it a fast ship? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uncle Owen. Hey, no, they're just toast because the stormtroopers killed them. Do it now. <laughs> I'm doing it. Do it. Do it now. What scene do you want me to do from Star Wars, the original movie? You can you can do whatever you want. I've been doing them the whole time. We only have eight minutes to do this. I've been doing them the whole time. No, you haven't. Lock the doors. And hope they don't have blasters. That's not very reassuring. That was C-3PO. Pokemon, gonna catch them all. <laughs> all right, folks. All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We will see you on the other side.